Hey, you're a little early, but it's coming anyway. Don't mind me, I'm in my robe. I'll change later. Uh, oh, here's Bailey. Have you met Bailey? It's almost her birthday, she's excited. Um, I guess since we're here, we might as well just show you the den, right? Because you're here to check out the house. So Bailey, should we show them the house? I think we should. Should we set a little music for the mood? I think we should. Oh, Bailey. Can we go through my plant jungle? I am the... But anyway, while we're here, um, this house, for the living room, we really wanted to go beachy, mellow, chill, just so we could really relax here. So we have a lot of blue tones, earth colors, just natural cream, topes, and I would say probably the most asked question about our living space would be this little bar. I actually bought this for Christian from a junk store for like $30, $35 as a gift for his college graduation. And we stocked it and we just painted it. And it was a really great piece. It's great for small spaces to really house all your booze, wine down here. You can have little bar tools inside the drawer and you know, never underestimate your local junk store. You never know what you might find. Do you guys wanna help me figure out what I'm gonna to wear today? I had a few options, but I hadn't really chosen yet. I was kind of thinking palm print, kimono vibes, boho vibes, pink, girly. I mean, I'll surprise you. I need to change though, and this is not that kind of video, so I'm gonna to have to escort you out. Thank you for that time. I feel more like myself. Come back in the bedroom. Let me show you some of my favorite things. Let's see. What vibe are we feeling today? This would be fun, right? You know what? I think I left them over there. Sorry. Let's go back to the office. Aha! Here they are. While we're over here, I'd say one of my favorite pieces in here would be this antique light fixture. I actually got it when I was a senior in college in Oxford, Mississippi, and one of my biggest regrets is there was a set of two and I only bought one because I clearly was a college student on a budget and if you see anything at an antique shop or really anywhere that has a set, buy both. Do a little work don't mind me please feel free no Bailey you can't get on the couch you know that feel free to take a peek around while I get a little work done I promise this won't take long okay oh, you know what my, my inbox makes me want to do have a drink shall we Bailey can we have a little rosé? Come with me. Hey, Lula. If you need to use the restroom, it's right here, so please feel free to help yourself. Would you like some rosé? Everyone knows if you're coming to my house, um, drinking wine is absolutely in the agenda. So I had a little nosh set up for you guys. Some cheese, some rosé, it's such a pretty day. It's a weekday, what's not to celebrate? You know what, I just realized I don't have a cheese knife. Let me grab that real quick. While I'm over here, one of Christian's favorite parts of our kitchen would be this chalkboard that I made myself. I put the week's menu options, so therefore I don't have to answer the question, what's for dinner? Obviously we're running out of options, but it's towards the end of the week, so let me live. Okay, who doesn't like cheese and wine? I feel like we should take this outside, but before we leave this room, I do wanna share with you this table is my favorite thing in this room. My mom actually bought this table in Nashville and she was pregnant with me and she gave it to me and I since painted it myself, kind of made it our own, made it 
vibe a little bit more with our style. And I actually have that tutorial on my blog on carebrushlight.com. And you can see how I did it there. But anyway, it's really sentimental. It's fun. It's a, um, what's the word? Uh, drop leaf table. That's what it is. It's a drop leaf table so you can pull it out when you have guests in. And it's real nice. But, you know, we just have a family of two. So let's take this to the patio. fresh air. Isn't this really what we like to do in life? Just have a little cheese on the patio with rosé. This is our patio space. It's probably when we decided to rent this property that we've been in for about four years. It probably was the part that really sold me. I love the Amelia. It really blooms nicely this time of year. And we just strung bistro lights and love having meals out here. It's really nice. And when you're in California, it's definitely an extension of your home and outdoor space, so cheers. I do think I need to show off my herbs, so please check them out. I've been trying to really embrace my most Martha Stewart self so I can have fresh herbs and just pretend that I am one with Martha, but you know, do what you can, right? I could really just cozy in here all afternoon, but it is a weekday and there's work to do, so I do think we gotta wrap this up and you got to go, but feel free to come back over anytime. My house is your house. I do feel like you didn't have enough time to finish your wine, so I'm happy to pour you a little to-go cup and I won't tell. It'll just be between us. Let me know if you change your mind. We forgot to take a Polaroid. I love taking Polaroids of guests. It's just fun to have. Do you mind if I take one of you? Is that weird? Can I just snap one real quick? Are you ready? You need to fix your hair, a little lip gloss. You feel ready? Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's see. I'll have to add you to our little wall of photos. We don't have many yet, but we're working on it. And if you want to sing some karaoke next time you come over, I have a mic for you, okay? But for now, we'll leave this here. You know, it is a weekday, as I said. Be sure to say hi to our three-legged cat, Lula. She tends to hide when guests come over, but she is quite friendly. Okay, seriously? I love you, but I, I did say I had things to do today. So you gotta go, but come back over sometime. I would love to have you over when Christian's here. He'd love to say hi.